So hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Motorsport Manager round number one for the Australian Grand Prix. Now first of all apologies for the de slight delay in the upload of this series. I was thinking about waiting for my PC to come back but that hasn't come back yet and people are requesting this so I thought might as well get round one and see if I can then recover the save on the, on the PC on the new PC later on. But let's get into this straight into the Australian Grand Prix. We're going to Set the thing with Coca Cola. I think we can get seventh place. I hope we can get seventh place, otherwise, we might have to th think about um, th um, we might have to think about whether or not about the performance of the car um, that we need. Let's go to Australia and straight away into practice. Cesar Camaro is not actually not actually that bad uh, driver, so we'll put him in the car to start with, um, just to keep him happy. Um, we'll simulate practice because um, I mean, why not? And the results are with eleventh and twelfth. We need to really think about Lewis Hamilton shows so much pace the fact that he's sixth place and yet he's on the mediums. Verstappen down in tenth, so he's a little bit more worrying for him. Um, with a couple more people, obviously. This episode called it the um, mod doesn't include the new name for Salba. Let me know what you think about Salba being Alfa Romeo. Um, just some people there, Mark Webber making hints at me. Thank you very much, Mark. Um, people saying not happy with 12th and 13th, which is fair, but let's hope it's just a practice and we can start get ready. We'll have, we'll have to rebuild this McLaren team up from the ground and see if we can get in uh, anywhere near. Um, as we prepare for qualifying one now, so we've got the three qualifying sessions. Q1, Q2, and Q3. We'll see the t um, normal format. Five go out from the first one. Five go out, and then we'll have the top ten. Um, we're going to change the uh, setup here because this is what the thing downforce is excellent. So we'll make the. Um, well, I won't touch the downforce at all. And we'll just put that in that range. New set of super softs and science is ready to go. I um, don't know why I clicked on that again, but that is the setup we're going for. With um, I don't know why these gear ratios are so high, but yes, we'll change that down. Give him more downforce. Um, play with uh, Norris and then we will go and with a new set of super soft tyres let's get into qualifying one and we're going to send both cars out immediately um, in the session want to get try and get as many runs in this is only 10 minute 10 minute 10 minute so that's something we need to focus on that would be quite crazy to see 10 minute sessions for each of them. Uh, fast forward everybody. They both come out at the same time. So um, on the super soft tyres we're going to immediately put turn the auto on. As they move on to their qualifying lap it's raining. So this is going to be interesting. Norris and Sainz. Sainz is the faster driver now. See how Norris can develop. Um, Sainz is the same age as... I am. Um, so, um, yes, let's follow Science. He's seen, he seems to be a lot going a lot faster than Norris in these wet conditions. Um, as he sets the first fast set two, he's the only person in the second sector. Um, he's going to go fastest. Right. Well, oh no. Um, somebody's beating him. Who's beating him? It is Hamilton. We expected Hamilton to go faster than everybody. Um, Science goes to Riken and splits us, but in the end, 9th for Science and 13th for Norris. With Sebastian Vettel going fastest for Ferrari from Gasly and, and Ricardo. 
but we'll have to wait and see. It's time for Q2. Q2 um, was I tried to unfortunately use an extra set of super sauce in Q1 and try to put Norris on the set of mediums. So that's a reminder to have an extra set of soft tyres. Super soft, the softest tyre for the um, for the qualifying races because we don't really need them for the actual race too much. So um, we'll try and try and maintain that. But it's unfortunately there is the rain. So we can't go and prove that. So that's going to be 12th for Norris and 14th for Sainz. For tomorrow's, well, tomorrow's Australian Grand Prix. And there we are, Norris and Sainz. We can also notice Verstappen and Gasly both out in Q1. So not, well, not only only people. Raikkonen are only 11th for uh, Giovinazzi Dominic getting the better of the, uh, the Finn there. So, um, yes. With Vettel from Hamilton now. Hamilton showing his colours. Bottas only fourth. Um, with Ricardo up, up to third for Renault. Anyway, um, let's let's continue this, and we will we will now simulate to the full results for practice uh, for Q3. We saw Vettel on pole from Gasly and Ricardo. Bottas in fit fourth, with Hamilton only down in ninth, with the two Hasses with their new gold, horrible gold livery on there. Um, so, yes. Um, many ditch, ditch, digs into Leclerc, um, but it is Vettel from Gasly. Um, lots of digs into us as well. So. Um, Arriva Bernays gone, Molly. Yes, he went a while ago. He's he's no longer there. So um, you you you've got what you wish. He got the sack. He didn't retire though. So race day here in Sydney, Australia. Not a track that many F1 fans will probably be used to because it doesn't exist. None of the things, ex none of the tracks really exist. Because, of course, for copyright reasons. Let's have a look at um, sites. There is, it is going to be a wet dry race. And let's wait and see what we can do. Um, how he can get 7th or above or not. Of course, we're going to start on the intermediates anyway. Um, so that is definitely going to happen. And then we will progress onto the soft tire, I reckon. Um, and then super soft, protect. soft tires will definitely be the best option for us. To prob depending on what lap we pit on, uh, there's only a 16 lap race because they're the short races. You can see that there is going to be wet, dry, wet to start off with the first half. Then there'll be a dry spell. Then there'll be rain. So yes, we'll have to, depending on what's going there, we might split the strategy. Um, see what we can do with either. But that ultimately depends how like, these two get on in their opening spell, whether we manage to make the places up on the team, on the drivers above us, or whether um, it's going to get really bad towards the end of the race, though. So uh, we will need the full wets, I imagine. But let's get in to the today's. Australian Grand Prix. So, Vettel on pole, Gasly second, Ricardo third, and Bottas fourth at the start. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. And we are underway here. In Sydney, come on, give me the cursor and speed up to 12 time. Good start from both Norris and Sainz, um, but the Ferrari of Leclerc, of course, as we expected, is coming through the field. Gasly has the lead from Bottas over Vettel, whether they're having a more wet setup in the lair. Sainz has made a, a um, an error, he's down to 15th. We'll follow, not 16th now, we'll follow, we'll put him down to. 
his fuel down and his tyre wear down. We're following Norris now. The young Rit is up to challenging for ninth place. He's got Robert Kubica, who's having a storming, storming there. Um, the Hamilton is only up to seventh. Norris has gone back to ninth. He's going to go down to ninth. He's got the two Toro Rossos over Albon and Kvyat, both of them behind them. Um, interesting to see how those two get on with the, with the Toro Rosso. And Albon has gone past Norris here. Norris down to tenth. I have to wait and see. It's going to get a little bit heavier to begin with, and then it will get um, it will lift off and then get lighter again. So we won't need the wets. Sight is back up to 15th. Had a Magnuson who's had a terrible start. He's starting in the top in the top 10. Both him. Raikkonen has also had a terrible start. He's down to uh, la he's he's in last place. He was up in uh, 11th place. So poor start for Raikkonen and for Magnuson there. Um, where is Grosjean? Grosjean is up in fifth. Vettel now has the lead from Hulkenberg. Ferrari clearly says that Leclerc is up to third place. He started something like P18 or something like that. As Sainz now is coming, is 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 now going ahead of Norris. So, so Sainz now is ahead. He's going down the outside of Albon. Um, can he make the move stick? Yes, he can. So it's the Spaniard who is ahead. There seems to be a fault with Nando Norris's fuel, which has given us more than we should, so we're just going to burn that off um, as much as we can. We're going to try and help uh, Norris get past everybody, and he's got past him there. Let's see if we can get past getting past her. Uh, um, He can get past uh, Giovinazzi now, the Italian, um, who's done better than Reichen, and Reichen's back up to 14th. His Verstappen is now last. So, it's all going on here this, as uh, Lawrence is battling the young Italian, and the Ita Brit has got in there now. But will Norris come back at uh, uh, Giovinazzi, excuse me, come back at us? Yes, he will. But we defend down into the hairpin and retain P11. It's 10th and 11th, not too bad. It's still raining here, but it rain is going to level off. And we should start to see some dry lines appearing. And we might have to think about where we're going to pit people. Whether we split the strategy, split the two and keep one out for a lap longer. I think that would be the best rather than double stacking. If we double stack, we will lose time. Um, Science now gets ahead of Giovinazzi. Um, it's a bit soon to assign Norris, excuse me. Um, as we go to Sainz now, he is behind uh, Ricardo, who started third. Sainz is moaning about traffic, so we'll just ignore him. Um, it is, the rain is holding up, and it is actually stopping up there. Norris is struggling against Kabitza, who. Um, Albon is also the Russell is only down the 16th thing. Verstappen is up 17th and K Mag is now last. Um, as Vettel, Hulkenberg and the Clerk is the top three. So uh, those that I think those four with Hamilton with Hamilton, those four start to pull away from the pack that we are now behind. Yeah, Gasly. Moving to lap seven now, you can see that a dry line is starting to form as uh, Science moves it in ahead. But we're gonna take a little bit of gamble with Norris, he is behind. We're going to put him on to a set of soft tyres, because he's he's out of super softs, and those set of softs, that although he got a little bit of taken out, or he's, I don't I want a fresh set, I think that would be better. Let me give him some extra battery, and we will go as fast as in the final sector, uh, sorry, personal best in the final sector, as um, science is starting to yeah, but we will need to pit sites probably in a couple of laps time. Obviously, the back runners of Giovinazzi, Kubica and Russell, both Will Williams have made the pit to go put both of their drivers onto the mediums. So have they not seen the weather forecast? Rain is coming. Put sites now down back to medium fuel. We won't put to Kukum, sir, because that will just... He's, I think he's okay on the balance one. Uh... He's down to 27%, so we'll have to pit in the following lap. See a couple of other people. Hulkenberg um, are down that low as well. Uh, he has got, hopefully, a, 
a large number of people coming in. In comes Norris from 10th place on the grid. This is where we're going to come out. Sites moves up to 7th. Hulkenberg. Gasly's got a problem. So the Frenchman has got a problem in the Red Bull. Um, the tyres are all on, are all on OK. And Morris comes out in P11. Make that P9. So P, a couple of cars go by that. He's down to back to P11. So, moving to Sainz now, we simply have to pit him, it's dry. We're going to put, he's got an extra set of super softs, so we can put him onto that set. It is going to rain, so a couple of laps on the super softs, and then we'll go to full wets. Parts look okay, and we'll pit, and we'll put a fast pit stop so we can try and jump a few people. Um... The crew, pit crew, aren't that fatigued anyway. Morris is using his thing. He's got Kubitz up ahead of him, who he's lost out to. As Sainz now comes out the pits, he's down in P11. Norris is up to P6. So, as I said, the top four, Hulkenberg, Vettel, Hamilton and Leclerc have done big time. But as um, Sainz gets past Grosjean, he's got Bottas up ahead. Um... And it is starting to rain now. Um, I think we're going to pit Sainz. We're going to take a gamble with Sainz. He's in only at the back of the top 10. We'll keep Norris out for another lap. Um, we're going to put him straight onto the water. How's the water? Water looks dampish, but it's getting wetter all the time. We're going to go straight to full wet. Uh, we'll go for a balanced pit stop. We'll go fast on Norris's this time. As it is getting wetter by the minute. Bottas is in as well. Side by side in the pit lane. There. Bottas. So yes. Sainz is in. Bottas actually looked like he overtook us momentarily. Of course the engine power is down for us. But still. We've got four laps left. And Norris comes out ahead of... Uh, sorry, Sainz comes out ahead of Bottas. Let's go to Norris now. We're going to have to pit him now. Um, now, a couple of his parts aren't looking good. The engine... The engine is not looking f good, so... Um, um, yes, we'll have to monitor that and see if he can make it to the end. I'm going to kill it on these soft tyres now. He's got Giovinazzi ahead of him. So the Italian is going to get points. His Norris is in the pits. Um, now, where is where is Kibitza is going to go past. Well, Norris comes out in 6th place. So Kibitza doesn't go past. He is behind us. Sainz is up to 8th. So this is very good. Worked out very good for us. 6th and 8th place. Um, I'll take that. Norris is... Jif the Nazi is up to 5th place, but he's some a long way behind. Let's see if we can... Uh, Sainz is in 8th place, but he is far behind. He is closing up on the Williams of Kibitza. Um, he's in the points. We've got Bottas, who's had a mare. He's down to ninth. Um, as Sainz now goes past, we're helping... Uh, as soon as we passed him, he went back past us. We need to improve the engine. The engine is so poor on this car. It's unbelievable. The, the, the car parts, as I said, this isn't going to be anything. We're catching up to Norris. Hopefully the Brit hasn't got a problem. I didn't mention we had engine problems. He has got a lot of ERS to use. Um, we're focusing on trying to get sights by past Kibitza. And their engine and front wing. Big problems for Norris. Engine has not lasted. Sainz looks okay. Let's see if we can wait out now. We've only got two laps to go and we're catching that to Norris as Kubica now. He's going to go ahead of Is he challenging Norris? And Kubica goes past Norris. Um, we're catching up. Oh no. It's, it's going to be... It's we could, Well, unfortunately for Norris. We could have held up, but... Um, 
We're going to have to pit him. There's... We're going to have to fix the engine. That's such a shame for the young Brit. He was doing so well. Up to sixth place. We'll just overload the battery there because, of course, why not? And um, we'll pit him on a fast rush sheet. Oh, such a shame. But we've got to keep focus on science. Science is up to seventh. Bottas and Ricardo are closing in. We're going to go manual ERS for the Spaniard. Let's try and keep him ahead. Bottas is already ahead. And he goes past. They just want, he just waltz past. Oh no, that was Norris. He just waltz past on the, on the engine. On the, on the finish there, excuse me. He can't cross the line. And Sainz unfortunately finished 8th. The engine in the car is woeful. Uh, we need a major, major investment in the engine. And the reliability there as well. Because Norris's reliability was woeful. In the end, he only finished down in 19th. Had a Kvyat. The Toro Rosso is not looking great. We did finish ahead of Ricardo though. But four points on the board. I think we'll have to take that. And then what was a race where Hulkenberg finally rakes his duck in podiums. It's Vettel from Hamilton. Leclerc in P4. Um, I have to wait and see what Leclerc does. Whether if he gets alienated at Ferrari. Maybe he could be an opener. Should Sainz or Norris not perform as we expect as we want them to but first race sixth place ahead of Haas um, and racing point although that probably would be called something else Giovinazzi is happy um, but he wants to win maybe we can sign him as well in the future but um, it is a, F a Ferrari day but whether or not they can keep that up throughout the season we've got 21 races to look at Performances up for them, better better performance for uh, Sainz and for Norris, and Sata Kamara is also learning, but I haven't really got potential. We'll be looking at some other drivers who've got potential, potentially looking to sign them. Made money as well, for, which Zach Brown, of course, is happy about. Um, so eighth place, not bad, but couldn't be out of one in Formula 2. It was, I um, can't see who that is. Apologies for that. I think though Aiken is up there though. Uh -huh. um, but you can see on screen the results better than my preview screen, which of course on this laptop is so smaller than on my PC. On my PC I can read the names. On the thing, Mick Schumacher on your own and 18th Sphere Flourish um, is um, the is top. Um, so the young German who we will be scouting to see her potential. Um, in Formula 3 so um, she's there performing well so yes um, we're gonna take we've got some pit crew let's see if we've got any potential people if we have brief you all have a hire that other bloke but other than that we're gonna reject all of these because they haven't really got any good people meet the people the crew we've got are pretty much good um, Battle gets pole, yes. Interview with MBC. Um, Vettel is asking about Vettel, and I think we'd take Vettel at McLaren. But, um, I mean, Vettel is a very good racer, but I think at Ferrari he sort of bottled it. Whether at Ferrari, McLaren we could actually keep his call, um, we'll have to wait and see. So there we are, we'll have to wait the thing. We're going to design a new part for the um, next race, which will be a new engine part. Um, we designed a new brakes, I think, last year, last time. But we need to improve on reliability. Reliability is a must. To get, because we have performance to be up there. It's just the engine is, the reliability is letting us down. See then, Norris is engine those brakes I didn't put because they were put awful but things are being improved and despite everything everything's not going to be ready um, but the calendar is very much condensed so 
So we're just going to keep it at equal 60, 6159 um, staff working on reliability and performance. The new parts are there. So yes, um, we'll put the engine to be made more reliable as well for Norris. But yes, that's going to round off today's episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you new, see more Most Sport Manager episodes. Until the next video, I'll see you next time. Take care, enjoy your day, and goodbye.